Capricorn, let's look at the next three months, the rest of 2024 for you. Let's start with October. Wow. <laughs> like everyone's going to want to be you. That's the message I got when I was sitting these cards out and I'm just like, <gasps> like I asked for three cards, one card and then two clarifiers. And you got a whole lot of story here. Okay. This is so good. Let me get into it. I get the, f whoa, you, you're, you've got magic hands. Okay, a lot of energy coming out of here, like like a spider web's going to come flying out of my hands. I get like hocus pocus energy from this. So you are really magic, but you are around magic friends, especially if you were a femme. Um, there is this energy of like circle work. Okay, <laughs> for some of you, like you're doing burnouts in the in the. I just heard in the back room. I don't know how you can do burnouts in the back room, but um. Interesting. Maybe the back paddock. <laughs> There's a lot of excitement. There's a lot of like luck. There's a lot of emotional fulfillment. It's it's like two or more people coming together that add to this like uh, concoction of I heard genius, right? Concoction of genius where there's new oh new creative ideas. Honestly, there's and that's your your overall energy is new creative ideas, new beginnings, like fresh courage. Um, a glow up, I definitely see that. There's also an element of like in the country, and no wonder I said like burnouts in the in the backyard. Like it's something country, but it's like um, not so much homesteading as in the work, but it's country as in a country retreat that you maybe visit and there's flowers everywhere. So riding horses, picking flowers in a field, like it's very, I don't know what that's got to do with anything, but it's very like, down to home is kind of how it's feeling. This is setting off, October is setting off for you a change that is like a chain of events that change your life, that help you to cross from where you are to where you want to go. That is incredible. How is this happening? How is all this happening? It's like it happens like, bam, you didn't expect it, but it's the most exciting thing that's ever happened. Yeah, it's nothing that you... <laughs> It's kind of out of your hands. And it's, I want to say it's nothing that you have done. Like it's, if you've been pushing and um, trying so hard at doing something and you've been perhaps very like staunch about doing something the right way and you've been extremely disciplined, this is because you're throwing discipline to the wind. And this is because you're getting out and playing with your powers. This is because you're socializing is how this feels. How, how else is this coming about? Yeah, wow. Like this is like a a, a, um, a match being lit and it's just light lightning. What's the advice for, your, for October here? Enjoy the heck out of it because that's rare to see that many good cards at once. I feel like it's, it's kind of like um, easy like a Sunday morning as well. So let it be easy. Let it be easy. That is the message here. To be fair, it's a, it's bringing a balance into your life because, see, everyone's going to want to be you. I, and I feel that your readings, Capricorn, have been very intense and very heavy because you've been trying to do the right thing all year for other people or because of what, uh, like, you're programmed to believe you need to do. This is a higher power taking charge and saying, hey, we're going to give you an experience to blow your absolute mind so then you know what it feels like and you're not going to deny yourself these uh, pleasures and treasures ever again okay that is for october take it how it resonates it could come about in a relationship sense because there is a lot of emotion here it can come about in a friendship sense um in a family sense okay there is just a, and, and maybe even money too with the good luck showing up but it's like um really choose your thoughts choose good thoughts choose to let go of the reins a little bit okay because I okay that stopped for a second Interesting. It's stopped for a second. So if you can let go of the reins and holding on so tight, this like is going to turn into a gallop. Let's get into November here. Okay. You're winning at life. I feel like you're winning financially as well. So it's kind of giving the energy of like when you clean up your mind, you clean up every other thing in your life. It's a domino effect on the rest of your life. And I feel like you feel like a unicorn. You you feel like you've hit the jackpot. You feel like you, wow, where did this version of me come from? I can't believe this. I can't believe I'm able to do this. Like, uh, I, 
and you have the resources to be able to do it. It's a new home and a new attitude. You got the Empress in reverse. Use your intuition. Now that's interesting. Yeah, you're closing out old cycles of mothering everyone else and instead you're mothering yourself. Ten of Cups again. Wow. So it's blessing after blessing after blessing. You are being blessed, right? It's old cycles ending. Believe you're a unicorn. Believe you can have the new home, the new attitude. Believe that you can like sweep away the old. It's as easy as that. Honestly, you might want to get like a, a besom or something like that, an actual broom, and start like shifting things out. Sage, Palo Santo, incense, whatever. Clear the place up. I've got some um, clearing workbooks on my links in my Etsy store if you want to go and look at those for journaling and to really help you to process, okay, what do I need to let go of? Why do I need to let go of it? Because um, I feel like you you want the why behind everything right now. And they're just kind of saying like, please open the windows and doors, let it all go, let it all out. Because what is for you isn't going to miss you. I think you've got a lot of success here once you let go of the past ideas of who you should have been and remembering that what, like some things are just not for you forever. They were only for you for a little while. Yeah, there's a lot of milk and honey here. There's a lot of like... Um, <laughs> Tea and biscuits, okay, is what I just heard. Interesting. That's a that's a bit of British and, and um, American right there. Scones with jam and cream. You can't go past it. I don't know why I just went into a full, like, I just saw, like, a, a scone, a biscuit, with huge amounts of jam and cream on top. And I was, like, frothing over that. So maybe it's, like, and there you go. There's that, like, country down home, um... Like being pampered thing coming through. So look, enjoy that. Let's move on to <laughs> December. All right, here you are. Here you are coming home. Here you are making coin. Here you are back to business. There could be a new man coming into your life, regardless of gender. And someone that... Um, I get the feeling, it's funny, that the December is often like a holiday uh, uh, season, it's often a holiday celebration, but I get the sense you're not into celebrating. It's like you've done so much celebrating and relaxing in October and November that come December you're actually like, hang on a minute, I actually want to um, return to doing more for others, but not in a way that disrupts my peace. So it's new opportunities and things possibly opening up that are like, you know what, I'm actually really good at looking after other people, but now that I've looked after myself, maybe I can make it into a business or an opportunity or a job. Um, I don't, why, why not the celebrations? It's almost like you just, you're so inspired that you have to get busy. Yeah, well, how does it, the Eight of Pentacles is here. Do you know what? I just don't think you're overdoing the celebrations. I think you know that, um, I just heard it's just another day. So whether they're talking about actually Christmas or uh, your birthday, Capricorn, perhaps in December, um, it's just another day. Give yourself some time to enjoy it, but then you're straight back to it because you, you, you've got a new path here. You've got a new... You've got decisiveness and, and it's almost like you've set some goals here and you don't... Wow. Yeah, they're not trying to tell me too much about this, but it's like um, you've got foresight here. You've got a plan. You've got a vision and you're communicating how you want that to be executed. Yeah, you're really just you're feeling good. Honestly, you I mean, Capricorn, you love to work. Maybe you won't say that out loud, but that's kind of how it's coming across is you love to work because finally you're feeling the rewards of it. So now you're working in a way that is a lot healthier and it's got a lot more boundaries around it so that then it's almost like you're working up until a deadline or a timeline and then you're going to take a break. Then you're going to take a vacation. Then you're going to dip out. Then you're going to be like, see, I've got no baggage left. So you don't have to think about work while you're away. Um, so you're not celebrating too soon. And maybe some people do that. Like they slacken off in December and then they get to January or February and they're back at work and they're like, well, I just made that really hard for myself unnecessarily. Yeah, there's a sense of serendipity here. So enjoying the moment, enjoying the things that are like taking you by surprise and how things fall into place because you are now nourished and nurtured from within. Reveal what needs to be seen here and know that you are loved Capricorn. You're on the right path. I wish you the very best. This is actually so nice for you to yeah, have and for me to hear. I love it.